This video is about the landing page for Eternal Lands. So I'm in my home war zone and if I want to go to Eternal Lands, I will click the yellow question mark in the top right. This is the landing page that I'm talking about. We're going to go through what is on this page. First of all, most important thing in the far bottom right, it's going to ask you to go. When you click that, it will ask you, do you want to move to Eternal Land? Click OK. The game will restart and it will land you and drop you off in Eternal Lands. So it will always take you to the store and then take you to your base. Once you click on World, you will notice that you are in Eternal Lands. In the top left, you have the minimap. The yellow sections are the expedition bases within each server and everyone is trying to fight their way to eternal city everyone's trying to fight their way to this point so you will come across other servers as you try to secure buildings to get to here and gain points and if you couldn't see it on the mini map here's the larger version you are welcome to see this in your own time now if you want to go back to the landing screen in the top right you'll see like a flying saucer type object so if you click that, it will take you back to the landing page. In the very top right, this little symbol will show you the timeline of what's to come and what's happened. So today is battle instructions, tomorrow expedition outposts open and the arc opens at reset. So that's just an example of the timeline. Underneath that, we've got the Eternal Tech. Eternal Tech is similar to your trainee officer, your combat elite, your mechanical masters kind of technology, your general skills. Level these up to three out of five and then move on to the next row so you can get through it as quickly as possible so you can unlock the extra march queue and then go back and do the ones that are very important. Like the extra points from farming and dark forces. Tribal tech is like alliance technology here in Eternal Lands. You'll collect rubbin papers from dusty trucks and then donate them and your R4s and alliance leaders will sort that out. Expedition plan is time limited schemes to get extra rewards. Read through these in your own time. These ones you vote on and then alliance will alliance leader will make the decision. Expedition achievements, very important. Make sure you're doing all your individual achievements and you understand what every single one of these are. We can go through them in another video. You can't get alliance achievements without doing individual honor, which means without doing like individual achievements. They're both required to, be, to have one completed. Warzone achievements are similar. You need individual honor and your warzone needs to get a certain amount of honor as well. Expedition ranking. This is the ranking of the top 200, 300 players um, based on their points. Top 200 is the best rewards. If you're going to do this, it's a grind and a half. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. Um, alliance, alliance ranking is how your alliance fares and then overall ranking for the servers, how the server fares. Expeditions in the bottom left. So this is your regular events for EL. So expedition exercise is like war zone exercise. Military support is like arms race. Uh, every day will be, it will be something different or every other day. Chaotic force is your world boss. Make sure you're attacking these five times a day. Every server has one. Servers have to work together to defeat their own. Uh, rebuild, so this, this is basically just donation once the expedition base is opened. Lost treasure, this is your dusty trucks. Uh, when Dusty Trucks opens, I'll do a video on that. Art Contest, basically going to fight other servers and potentially your own server <laughs> in the arc. And then the special resource areas, which is also part of your achievements, is where they open up for like 12 hours and you just farm in those areas. It's higher, higher storage of food and oil. And you can get gem, gem mines in there as well. Eternal store, so the eternal store you can get the ancient token, which is good for the best, better rewards like base skins and heroes. And then you can also get the eternal signet, 
which is good for other items such as Vic Capsules, exclusive skill shards, Orange Universal skill, um, Orange Universal shards, and class item chests. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the store, you'll see that you can convert your Aurora coins, your TA coins, and your Aurora gems into the EL versions. Also, in the token store, you'll get military tokens from fighting enemies. Whether you win or lose, depending on whether your units were destroyed or their units were destroyed, you'll get military tokens, and you can use that in this store. Always use your first 5,000 on the ancient token, then use the rest on whatever you want. Um, that's just important news about EL. You should actually read this for the added information. And then to return to your war zone, you click in this blue button again, and it will ask you, do you want to return? You click OK, and bada bing, bada boom, the game restarts, and you're back in your room. So, that is it for the video on Eternal Lands landing page. As you can see, top left, I'm in 2784, my home server. So, it won't put you back to your base, but you just get an alliance move and you can move back. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.